Now the website on your screen is a file sharing website called fullshare.com. Now it might look pretty ugly but it is actually pretty popular and I'm going to give you two reasons why. First reason is that it's free to use so I can upload files to this website completely free and it stops my hosting account being used just to host files that are being shared online. Secondly there's lots of illegal download products being shared on here. Now that's obviously unfortunate for products for product creators and people who are having their products shared for free illegally. But as a marketer, we have to take advantage of those opportunities. So what I would personally recommend is that if you have any content at all, whether it's a free ebook, whether it's phot photographs related to your niche, whether it's podcasts, whether it's video tutorials, I would always recommend sharing them on here. Now, the key to getting people to download them is to name them similar to what people are going to be looking for on here. So, if there's any products in your niche that are really popular that people might be looking for on here to download, you could name your ebook or your tutorial video similar to those particular products. So, what you're looking to do is basically collect the fall off in terms of search um, people searching for products so that's the way that this would work and as always if you have content I would always recommend redistributing that across different sharing platforms anyway because the more places that your content's placed the more chance you've got different people downloading it and in turn returning to your website now 7search is another pay-per-click advertising network that you need to be familiar with so they are, have a bunch of publishers signed up to their network which are websites that will display your ads so you could choose to have display ads which are ads that are based on an actual website within content pay-per-click ads which are text-based ads that are targeted on search engines to people who are searching for related content so the same way that you'd set up Google AdWords or Bing uh, pay-per-click and mobile ads now personally I prefer the pay-per-click because I think that they're the most targeted visitors and you all know how well AdWords and the Bing network work now the thing with 7search is that as you can see if we go to the advertising page here it's actually quite a bit cheaper than the competitors and the reason for that is that 7search uses a l many smaller search engines so Google know they have the monopoly so their ads can be a little bit more expensive because lots of people are advertising on that particular network now if you advertise on 7search because it's a whole network of different smaller search engines you can get a much better pay-per-click rate so it's definitely worth checking out um, you will save money and there are no minimums the same way you will select your own cost per click your own budget so there's no way that you can go broke by trying this uh, network out this advertising network is called Adblade and it's a network that enables you to create content style ads just like this example on your screen here so basically creating ads that are embedded into a site that look like they're actually related to that site content so what we're going to do is give you a quick example here so I'm over here at their advertisers section and what you can see is they work with some of the world's most trusted news websites Fox News, Yahoo etc so basically your advert would be placed on a news or newspaper type website these do, uh, Adblade don't work with long tail ugly websites only real authorities in the news uh, area so as you can see here are the type of ads that will be displayed so they'll actually look like they're part of the website where the ads are being displayed so they'll look like they're actual content on that specific website now what that means is that people will not ignore them so basically ad blindness which means that you will see an ad on the side of a website you'll know it's an ad straight away and you'll just ignore it doesn't really happen with these type of ads so this platform also enables you to do retargeting which is 
if someone's already visited your website you'll then leave a cookie on their uh, in their browser and you can actually advertise specifically to those people again so there are some really good uh, advertising options on this site and you only need to spend a fifty dollar deposit to get started and you can either do cost per click so you know exactly how much you're paying per click or you can do cost per one thousand impressions so this is definitely a platform that you should be looking at especially if you have high quality content that you want to advertise now i'm sure you've all seen this logo before because ebay is obviously one of the most popular websites on the internet but what you may not know is ebay also has a few other web properties that they create just to expand upon their brand so one of them is their classified ad websites located at ebayclassifieds.com so you can obviously change your location based on where you are in the world and it's free to actually post an ad in any of these sections here so if you're looking to sell a desk or sell um, you know a game or an old camera or an old computer or whatever you want you can do so by posting an ad on eBay classifieds it works basically in a very similar way to Craigslist it's just not quite as well known so how would you use this to drive more traffic well there's a few different ways um, one of them is posting up a job which might not actually be a real job and then you set up an autoresponder so if someone actually replies to your job advertisement you'll send them a email instantly telling them that you're actually looking over their application and you'll be in contact if they're successful in the footer of that email you could have a link to your squeeze or your web page so that's one way that you could generate traffic but another way a very simple way is just to list a free downloadable book so all you do is you click create your free ad you'd place it in the books and magazines category mm -hmm. you'd put the title of the book you would make the book free and then you'd post a description and uh, just an e-cover now what you do is you'd of course have your email address in there and then when someone actually emails you to pick up the free book all you do is reply to them with the URL of your squeeze page so it's a very very simple it's um, it's manually approved so you have to make the ad look like a serious ad I would not put the URL personally in the description but you can try that if you want to I would personally recommend someone emails you and you'll shoot them back a link to your squeeze page mm -hmm. so that's how simply these guys very very easy the same way you'd use some another classified ad website such as Craigslist now I'm sure you've seen this type of award graphic before like this here so it's a little bit like the investor in people logo now this website here called laurel leaves award maker enables you to generate your own graphic of this type using a really simple um, just entering text format so what we can do here is we could put So we could put yourwebsite.com awards five stars to Joe Blocks 2015. So here's the way that the award would come out. So yourwebsite.com awards five stars to Joe Blocks uh, 2015. Now that's how the picture comes out. As I say, you can change it here can change the style of the leaves you could change the size of the logo itself you could change the color of the words so it's really easy to format and then what you do here is simple you just download the image now how is this useful for traffic now what you can do if you're ranking different blogs different websites different posts you can send this award logo you can send this award logo to people and 
they will then put this award logo potentially on their blogs, on their social media websites to say that they've been awarded five stars. Anyone that's looking at their blog or their social media website will see your website URL here. So that can generate quite a lot of direct traffic from other people's websites just by giving them this award, which, you know, doesn't really exist. It's just an award that you've put together just to say that you're ranking their blog or their website five stars. So it's a really simple way of generating direct traffic. All you need to do is create the award, which takes, as you can tell, about two minutes. Click done, then load the image, and then send it over to whoever you want to give it to. Now this is Oodle Online Marketplace. So it's a marketplace where people will sell cars, motorcycles, boats, they'll rent out apartments, office space, uh, they'll advertise jobs or even sell pets. So it's a very varied marketplace. Now more often than not, most people use Oodle just to sell old things or unwanted pets or you know puppies or, or whatever, that type of thing. But that's the reason why most marketers don't even know about it or don't use it at all. But it does have its uses for marketers and I'm going to explain why now. As you can see down here there is a section called services and there is a section called tickets. So as a marketer if you are offering any services you can actually list them on Oodle. Alternatively if you have a webinar or any sort of online event you could actually list that on here as well. So even though it might look like a website where you just sell off your old stuff or your pets you can actually also list your online events on here so it's really really simple all you do is to create a post by hitting post here the top and you just fill in the appropriate details so what are you posting it will be an online event why are you posting it? You know, because uh, obviously you're looking to get people to attend. You'd describe the event, you'd add a photo if you want, you'd select category, which would be in this case tickets, and it would be free. So this could be online, or you could just put an area in there. And you could post. It's that simple. So that's how you'd use Oodle as a marketer. Now, obviously, the primary use of this website isn't for marketing purposes but it is a website that you can actually use to enhance the traffic's, traffic back to your event or to your service websites. We're over here at sitescout.com which is one of my favorite self-serve advertising platforms. It enables you to advertise to people on mobile or desktop and you can select how much you want to pay per impression based on the publisher, retargeting users who visited your website in the past, specific audience characteristics or even specific content based websites so it gives you a lot of different opportunities to advertise to different people and because it uses real-time bidding RTB it enables you to get some very very good low-cost ads now real-time bidding although I don't understand the technical side of it basically you will bid against your competition in real time for an advertising impression so what that means is if you're retargeting for example um, and you have a very low bid but there's no one else that's actually bidding higher than you to advertise on a specific website to a person that's visited your um, your platform in the, your website in the past that will enable you to get very low cost advertisements and a lot of uh, publishers were a little bit weary about um, real time bidding when it first came onto the market exactly because of that because the advertisers people like us were getting a very very good deal so just to show you the scope of the network that we're working with on SiteScout there are 63,000 users which are advertisers 68,000 websites 73 exchanges nearly 150,000 campaigns and 31 billion daily ad views so it is a very very big network now of course this is a paid traffic method so you're gonna need a little bit of money to start with but because it involves real-time bidding you can bid on whatever amount you want per impression 
So it enables you to be in charge of your own budget, of course, and you can do uh, text-based ads or even video-based ads on this network. So it's definitely worth signing up for, has a lot of different opportunities, and if you head into the back office, it's really, really easy to set up an ad. This website is Slick Deals, which is a very popular deal website. So it lists products and services that are for sale online that have a very good discount at this present moment in time. So as we scroll down the site, we can see uh, some deals. So we can see a free game here, uh, a very cheap PC game, a $100 eBay gift card for $95, and so on and so forth. Now, if you have an ebook or a product for sale online, and you want to discount it for just a short period of time, what you can do is submit it to this website as a deal. So all you do is head on over to deals in the menu here, click post a deal, and all you need to do is follow the instructions, which is basically a forum thread. It's obviously to your product, so you'll know if it's not a repost. Um, and basically, all you do is follow the um, seven guidelines here, enter the information in here, scroll down the page a little bit. Uh, as you can see, these are the different types of uh, products or services that you can list on the website. So, books is one of them. If you have an ebook or videos, if you have uh, tutorials, and you can select the type of deal, category for it to be displayed in, and all of that other information. So, it's a real good way of getting more people to not only check out your ebooks or products but also sell a lot more products as well. Now I'm sure you've heard about the website StumbleUpon, which is a social media website that enables you to stumble, which is basically store your favorite web content. So a lot of people use StumbleUpon, you know, to actually store websites they like, and then they'll be shown other types of content that actually relates to that. So other content that StumbleUpon believes that that person will like based on their existing stumbles. So it's a very intelligent platform and one that a lot of people use just to pass time and read the type of content that they're into. Now, what I'm going to talk to you about now is the advertising network of StumbleUpon because it's pretty sophisticated and it's also low cost to start up. So basically you can have full page ads as you can see and ads work on all devices. So as you can see, you can distribute your content, which is articles, videos, slideshows, whatever you want, as an advertisement. So here are some examples. So there are millions of users, so you can target the specific users that you want. So it's really, really simple. And here I'm going to give you the tour quickly. As long as you have a URL for your content, that's all you require, the content that you want to share. You choose your audience using their targeting, which can be based on location, age, gender, etc. And of course, StumbleUpon itself is based a lot on targeting interests, so it's likely to be very, very accurate for that. You're in complete control of your budget, so there's no minimum spend at all, and you can start and stop at any time. So there's no way you can go broke by trial and error with StumbleUpon ads. And if you want, you can have your visitors start to arrive within just a few minutes. If more people engage with your content, you'll also receive free visitors, as you can see from this graphic here. 
and you have obviously optimization, reporting, etc. Now, as you can see from the pricing plans, they have some plans specifically for large companies, but the pay as you go service is perfect for a small company or an individual. So, it's definitely a platform that's worth checking out. Um, you can start with a very small budget and you can try all video ads, you can try all content ads, whatever you want to do. So, definitely check this platform out and you're going to receive some free visitors as well. Now, whatever niche you're in, I would always recommend blogging. Now, the great thing about blogging in this day and age is bloggers often help each other. There's a real good community spirit within bloggers and a great place to network with other bloggers and help each other out is the website Triba. Now, as you can see, this is the home page. But when I log in and create a brand new profile, this is what I see. Now, at the moment, it's completely empty, my stream. However, if I joined what was called a tribe, which is a group of people all in the same niche who all help each other, I would see posts from my tribe members here and I would have the opportunity to share them. And the same way, if I posted, my tribe members would see my post within their stream. So, of course, the first thing to do is consider joining some tribes. You will need a blog up and running first, of course. So if you click on the tribes tab, you could either create your own tribe or join an existing tribe. Now as you can see there are different types of tribes down here and you can see the members in each tribe and their reach. So the amount of people that are following their blogs in total. So as you can see small business here, pretty large reach social beards interesting niche there pretty large reach and so on and so forth so there's lots of different tribes now of course I can use the search facility as well but what I'm going to do is click on bonfires now the bonfires are basically a message a message board where new members or people who have just created tribes would basically put their message out there to recruit new people. So as you can see, all people looking for tribes in their niche. So as you can see, any ETSY tribes out there. I'm a natural health fanatic looking to connect with like-minded. If I click on this, I'm going to get the full complete uh, post, of course. Started a new tribe about people who love investing. I'm looking to join active tribes sharing two to three days per week minimum. So as you can see there are people out there who want to share and want to help each other and this is basically as a blogger what you want to do. You want to have a whole community and instead of you know just spamming your blog with affiliate links what you want to do is start to grow your following, grow traffic together and all help each other out. So as you can see the categories of the bonfire are over here on the right hand side or you can search if you have a particular niche that you want to search for. Now if you want to create a new topic just to actually you know put your message out there perhaps if ask if there's a tribe for you you just click this start new topic button. So the thing about tribe is it's just really really simple and when you join a few tribes all you have to do is when you log in you'll see the posts right here and the posts that you like you can share them so it's dead dead simple and people will also share back for you if you have good valuable content so that's Triber folks and if you're a blogger you should definitely be on here this website is viral content buzz and as you can see on the home page it enables you to have your content shared by influencers for free so basically it's a share for share network across a variety of social media networks Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest and StumbleUpon. So you can share other people's content, earn points and then they will share your content the same way. So if we head on over to the members area what we can see is a dashboard that has a bunch of different articles or content as we scroll down the different content and each content has share buttons as you can see Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook etc. 
Now, the way this works, it's, it's dead simple, is that when you actually sign up, you go into your settings and your profile, and all you'll do is link up your social media accounts for these websites, and you'll also select some categories that you're interested in from the list here on the left hand side so personally I, I uh, clicked on affiliate marketing, business, sport, infographics but you can select whichever category your niche is in and when you log in these actual content articles will be related to the categories that you've selected so all you do is if you find any good content that you'd like to share with your uh, social media followers you simply just click on the link, share it, and then you will receive points for that, or credits as they're called. So at the moment I have 10 credits, which is what you get by default when you sign up. So but if I was to share uh, these stories, I would receive more credits. Okay, now all you can do is transfer those credits into a project, which is basically content like this of your own. So you just click Add Project. You type in the URL that you want to promote, which could be, you know, a blog post, squeeze page, whatever, a title, and then the description, which is basically the content of your post. It's that simple. And then you'd select the groups that it's uh, related to. So if other people have selected those groups, this your uh, your content, your post would show on their dashboard. Now the way it wor works is that you have a budget for your project which is based on how many credits you have in your account. So the more credits you have the longer you can uh, place your project in front of people because your credits will get used up when people share your content. So it's really that simple. As you can see by clicking here, how the credits work. If someone has 100,000 followers on Twitter and they tweet your post that will be five credits if someone has only 500 followers that's only going to be one credit so basically it's going to cost you more credits from your budget um, if people with more followers actually share your content so really simple guys it's just share for share and all you need is an active social media account on one of these networks to get started now if you're in the internet marketing or make money online niche you're probably aware of the advertising opportunities on the warrior forum for example this advert up here up here at the top costs one hundred dollars for a day but you'll be in a revolution with i believe seven other advertisers maybe even more than that now so you don't really know how many uh, impressions you're going to get when you're here and the only way to find out if you're going to make a return on investment on your one hundred dollars is to actually try it out. However, an alternative is Wicked Fire, which is basically the next most popular forum in the Make Money Online or online marketing niche. So as you can see, it's pretty popular. There are uh, posts today in the, uh, the main forum and in other forums. So basically, this is a popular forum, not as popular as the Warrior Forum, but at the same time, to advertise on here isn't as competitive. And so if we click advertise at the top here, what we see is the advertising opportunities available on Wicked Fire. So top leaderboard tells you the size of the ad, and that's five dollars fifty-five cents per one thousand impressions. And that's available. So the add to cart button's there. After first posting threads, so this is when people are actually engaged by the content, 444 per 1000 impressions, footer, sidebar, and the top leaderboard for mobile, which is 222 per 1000 impressions, isn't available. So that's the only ad that is not available at the moment. So let's say we're interested in the top leaderboard. If I click on add to cart, what I can see is that at $5.55 per 1,000 impressions, I could purchase 50,000 impressions on my advertisement at the top here. It would replace this advert, presumably, for 277.50, which is 555 times 50. So that adds up perfectly. So if you wanted to advertise on the forum, 
you couldn't get to the warrior forum or you wasn't happy with the amount of impressions that you're going to get you could consider advertising on wicked fire and if you have a a squeeze page or a sales page or jv page this is obviously a pretty useful place for you to advertise so do take a look at the forum see if you think the users are the type of people that you want to actually advertise to and if you do consider having a look at the advertising options here